Hello there again, friends. Today is 12-15-2021, and today is day 18 of the Odin Vlog Project. So let's get right to the text editor and get started. Uh, <coughs> so today we're working on the second exercise, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, margin and padding too. Um, I have a bit more brain power today, so uh, I've uh, was able to get through this one. This was a bear. A bear for me. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, um, but it's a good thing. Uh, it uh, It's growth. <laughs> it's definite growth. Uh, I definitely struggled through this, but I can honestly tell you with with a smile across my face that I did not cheat and I did not even though I was tempted to many times through this pro through this exercise, I did not look at the solution until after I was completed with what I had, and I was, and we'll go through it. But basically, I was 99% there, and I I called it quits. Um, so let's go through that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the README file to you, and I'm going to show you. I did take a screenshot of what the file looked like before I started. Uh, so that you can see the index.html file uh, as it as it presents itself before you start the challenge. So you have an, uh, kind of an idea of what we're up against. So uh, it says this one is a little nicer looking and a little closer to something you might see in a real world. You'll need to change a little more than just margin and padding to get it looking exactly right. And uh, that is an understatement for sure. Self-check. Use this section to check your work. On these projects, your goal isn't to attain 100% pixel perfection, but to use the tools you've learned to get relatively close to the desired output. There is 8 pixels between the edge of the card and its contents, the blue section. There is uh, an 8 pixel gap between each of the blue sections inside the card. The title of the card uses a 16 pixel font. There are 8 pixels between the title text and the edge of the title section. The content section has 16 pix pixel space in the top and bottom and 8 pixel on either side. Everything everything inside the <coughs> button section is centered and there's 8 pixel padding. The big button is centered on its own line and the big button has 24 pixel space on the sides and 8 pixels on top and bottom. And here is what the HTML starts off, off like. And again, we this this just like the other exercise, we do not mess with the HTML at all. So, but we want to familiarize with our familiarize ourselves with it. So here's our first div. It's called class card. That's going to be uh, the first div inside the body. So it'll be this whole entire thing here. And this, by the way, this is the desired outcome photo over here. I split my panes three ways today. Uh, to make this a little bit more fluid and easier to follow. Um, the next class is an H1 class uh, called title. And that's going to be this right here. Your next one's going to be a class called content. And that's this box here, a div, div box. And this div box class uh, button, button container is this one right here, the big boy. And then inside that, there's an inline button called big button and that's right here inside of that div and then that's inside the the overall di card div and the divs inside the body so <clears throat> um so here's what here's what it looked like before I started I took a screenshot of it so you could see um Obviously, this is this is pretty jacked up. It doesn't look anything like the desired outcome, and you can tell just giving you a freeloader uh, pre precursor here. This is my end result. So you can see I got really close. Essentially, everything is exactly the same, except I had a major struggle bus with the outer border of the. Um, of the card class and we'll go over that in, in a minute because um, I'm going to go through line by line. I'm going to go through my thought process with you, how I typed it up and then we'll go over the solution unlike the other ones where we didn't go over the solution. But we're going to go over the solution 
so that you can see <coughs> the slight differences. So hopefully the video doesn't get too long today, but I do want to take the time to do this. So the first thing is <coughs> there's an eight pixel there's eight pixels between the edge of the card and its contents, the blue section. So right off the bat, I struggled with this big time because I was I was trying to think what does this actually mean. So I started from the very top in my CSS file and you have body here and um, inside the the body is the background the font family so this is your your overall entire screen there and then your next one is uh, a class card which is, if you remember is the whole this whole box here the big overall box so the width in the background um, were already there and so what I and the margin was already there so what I did is I added padding of uh, 8 pixels originally but I changed it to 4 um, because this was actually super thick and it was saying to add 8 pixels so because I couldn't find my other error in the code which and I'm kinda of going out of order here but I basically wrapped around at the end and changed this to 4 to get it to um, look pretty cl as close as I could get to that so um, that's why that says four. So really, I should say eight, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, because I had some margin collapsing, I think going on in here, and I don't know exactly where that's at, but that changed my the math on me. So I had to half it, and it still isn't even exactly right. But you'll see in the solution. And then there's an eight pixel gap between each of the blue sections inside the card. So that'd be these little spaces here. <coughs> so. Um, so what I did for that is I went through title, which is this one, content, and button container, and I added um, I added eight pixels of padding to each one. Um, and you can see this one I came back. To, we'll come back to in a minute. But um, so I added eight eight pixels. I'm sorry, not padding. Margin, margin. Padding is in the stuff in between your content and the edge of the box. Margin is is the space in between your two your boxes. So sorry, I did margin margin on those, and then the title of the card uses this one was easy. Title of the card uses 16 point 16 pixel font. So I went to um, I went to title here and just simply added font size 16. And next one says there are eight pixels between the title text and the edge of the title section. So there are eight pixels between the title text and the edge of the title section. So that would be your padding. Um, so I went back to title and I added the padding here of eight pixels. And then the content section. Ugh, sorry guys. That was that was dumb. The content section has 16 pixel space on the top, bottom, 8 on either side. So here's your content section. So here's where, so I already had 8 pixels in there um, from the previous uh, exam, previous uh, check. So I added, so I remembered that with padding you can do um, f top, uh, you can add uh, def four definitions of pixel value. That would be top, left, bottom, right. And so it, I know this says that the the 16 is for the top and bottom, 8's on either side. So 16 starts your top, so this would be top, and then no definition on this third one would mean it's going to duplicate this one. And same for the uh, 8, if that makes sense. So my 8 on each side would be just putting it in once, and it'll duplicate it on the opposite side if you don't put a value in. So that's why that says 16 and 8. Everything inside of the button section is centered and there is eight pixels of padding. So if you go down to button, um, there's your text align center that I put in and there's eight eight pixels of padding. Just um, just following the instruction there, that was pretty easy. And then the big button is in the center line on its own. This I struggle with big time. Um, I had to go back in the text and read because I remembered there was a 
this is considered a uh, this button is actually an inline so by default inline is uh, an inline block so I had to go back and tell it to do a display of block to force it to basically uh, retain partial elements of an inline but have give me the flexibility of a block display so I didn't have that before in there and essentially <coughs> my button was was stuck up here after the and a and it was like all in one line and I, and I was just struggling on trying to figure that out and so I finally finally figured that out that I needed to make this define this as a display block and then that finally moved down but it moved down all the way over here so what I did was um, I it says that it needs to be centered on its own line well I got it on its own line by doing display block but then it was like way over here and so what I did was I did left margin because you remember in our previous exercise I think it was yesterday we talked about maybe it was the day before anyway we talked about left margin and how that would move it from uh, you know the more pixels you put in here the farther it's gonna move it to the right so that's exactly what I did <clears throat> and this is not the correct way to do it, as we'll see in the solution, but I did just to give you the reason why I did it, and it worked. But left margin, I just pushed out to 120 pixels, and it got it ba basically pretty close. So right there, pretty close to center. So that is definitely, I thought I was being smart, but actually I was being dumb. <laughs> that is not the way to do it. Um, there's a much better way, and I, we'll go, the solution shows that. The big button, and then the big button has 24 pixel spaces on the sides and 8 on the top and bottom, which is this right here. Same concept as we had above uh, with the padding for the content here. So uh, eight, eight, uh, 8 pixels will be for the top and bottom definition, or declaration and declaration of 24 will be for the sides. And that's it. So that's how I got to where I got this. But as you can see, this doesn't quite resemble that. It's close. My bordering's off. The button's pretty close. But like I just identified, that's actually done incorrectly completely um, and hacked together, basically. So let, now I want to take you over the actual solution. So we're just going to go like this, and we're just going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So this goes through and basically duplicates everything that it came with default and then it says do solution disclaimer duplicating the selectors here isn't the best practice but they're just in your solution you probably put it right inside the existing selectors which is the best practice we separate it out here to make it extra clean clear to what has changed so basically obviously they're saying don't do this make put it all in the one one selector like I did they're just splitting it out to tell you here's what the differences are <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so so we go to card there's padding of eight pixels right so here I have padding of four I already described to you <clears throat> earlier why I did the four and why that's incorrect um, so I really need to change that to eight but by doing so, I can do it on the fly here. You'll see that my and then control S and refresh. See my space just doubled now and is even more inaccurate <laughs> inaccurate than before. So, um, so let's move on. Um, so the title um, has a margin top of zero. Uh, you see, I didn't define any margin top on the on mine. Um, I think what I did is I just did a full margin of eight pixels and called it good. So I missed that. Should have put that in there to define that top margin to be zero. Margin bottom. You see, I didn't do any definitions on any declarations on any margins sides, or I could have done margin zero and eight like I showed before. But I didn't do it. Didn't do that. So I got the I got the eight in here correctly, but I didn't get the zero in there. Font size got that in there. Sixteen padding got that in there correct as eight. Content. Um, they have margin padding of eight pixels. I don't have any margin 
or I'm sorry, margin bottom of eight pixels. You see, I don't have any mar margin. I have a margin definite. So I guess I'm not as far off as I thought. I guess I just didn't go quite um, deep enough with my definitions. I used too much over, you know, shorthanding and not enough uh, in in my declaration. So I should have put a margin bottom of eight per eight pixels there, and my padding was spot on. So that was sweet. At least I understood that part. Button container. Text align center, I got that nailed here and nailed the padding of 8 and 8. And the last thing is the button. Buttons where I really struggled um, as well. Here's your display block, so I got that right. That was really proud of myself there. Again, I didn't look at the solution for that. I just went back to the text, the Odin product, project text, and read a little bit more to figure that out. And um, as we already explained earlier, and then the padding they have or have margin sorry I skipped that one margin of zero and auto um, now here not here how I ex that's what I explained earlier about trying to make it center I actually <clears throat> should not have put that in there I should have put the margin zero and auto in there but you see I don't even have margin in <laughs> in my button so, um, so yeah there's that um, and then padding for 8 and 24, which I nailed as well. So I seem like I did really good. Where I struggled was trying to define um, these margins correctly. Like when's the appropriate time to use a margin dash, and then when is it more appropriate to use just a regular margin. Um, so not terrible. <laughs> for for first crack at it without looking I, I feel like I did a pretty good job um, and so that there's the total solution so um, that rounds off uh, this um, there's your box model I was going over the going over the stuff earlier for definitional purposes just a refresher but that will round off the section so um, yeah, so I'm going to complete this. So CSS Foundations is now complete. Box and inline is complete. That was the last exercise. And the next, uh, tomorrow or the next recording, we're going to start Flexbox. So fun, fun, getting uh, more difficult. I look forward to stretching my mind again and being re-challenged. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride today with me and, uh, and the journey and that you learned something out of it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my content to receive more. And uh, I try to upload every day or, or every other day if I can. So to give you guys fresh content and keep you coming along on the vlog with me um, as we journey through the days. Yep. So until next time, see ya.